Here's the gaff. Nice stairway, renovated. The most unique seat you'll ever see. What a performance today. Thank you, man. Yes, the title isn't a lie. We will be moving into the house on the corner of a Premier League football stadium. To explain how this happened, we must go back in time to 1780, where a cottage was built in the woods used as a hunting lodge. However, almost 100 years later, in 1888, the cottage caught fire and the site fell into disuse. It was only till a local club called Fulham FC came knocking in 1896 and built a stadium around it. Fast forward to today, and miraculously, the house on the corner still stands and the stadium name Craven Cottage represents it. This is the most unique seat in the Premier League still standing today and thanks to my good mate Dennis we'll be moving in for Fulham versus Chelsea. We're going off to see our new house there, our little cottage. Final house remaining at a football stadium for the Premier League. Crystal. Good local restaurant. There we go. Craven Cottage in view. I'm a bit worried about the electricity bill on this one love. I'm yeah. going 2 1 Fulham. Yeah. William to get a brace. William Brace. Yes. Okay. What are you going for? I'm going to go. I'll go 1 0. Here's the gaff. Fulham Football Club on the side. We sign a minute. What? First Great viewing. Location, Theo. Yeah. A bit worried about all the noisy neighbours, though. Might get a bit damp because the Thames, aren't it? It might, Theo. Look, here we are. We have moved in. We have moved in, right? You didn't think we bought the house, did you? Got the upstairs. Nice stairway, renovated. <laughs> nice bit of art on the wall. You didn't tell me you got a butler here. I tell you what, though, and a fully stocked kitchen. It looked at the beast we've got here. Dog dad doesn't eat meat, though, yeah. so half of it's come to my end of the yeah. table. And I've, I've invited all my friends around. Look. Oh, look. Yeah. Theo, when you move into a new house, it's got to be a housewarming. And, you know, we're doing it in style because this is Fulham. So, champagne. Champagne. Cheers. Welcome to the Fog Dad beer reviews, you mug. How about the Fog Dad champagne review? What's that taste like, the first champagne review? Is it hoppy? Tastes like the Europa League. That's controversial. Roy Keane would be fuming. We've got pasta and truffles. We've got octopus. We're doing it in style, aren't we? <laughs> How's the chicken? Proper piece of chicken there. Still taste test for you. Eight out of ten. Out of all the football food I've had, this has to be top. He was here, right? Yeah, yeah. And where did he sit? Right here. The old owner of the house dog dad was Speed. I am sitting in the same seat as Speed. I can't believe it. It's my mate from Qatar. What's your score prediction? Speed is sat right here. And now we are here. Dog Dad, it must be a house you got to buy. I am honoured, Theo. In fact, I'm so honoured. This beer review Go is on. dedicated to speed. Oh, it's really? an IPA from the fridge. I got it myself. Let's give it a go. Give it a go. Golden Goose IPA. This one's going to be hoppy, isn't it? It's got that to be hoppy. proper beer. That is proper naughty. 7.8. And that is a high score. Here's the walkout. This is your balcony, Thog Dad. You ready for it? I love this, Theo. Love the art. We're in the cottage. The most unique stadium in the Premier League. They put us in the exact same seats as where I showed speed was. It's a house with a balcony, I love it. Yeah, this is literally a house. This is the balcony, and the fans are on both corners, and the pitch is there. This yeah. has to be the most unique seat I've ever had at a football ground, and I love it. We've got a score prediction. It's gone for 2 1. You buying the house? I'll buy it. Recognise the lot here. We're getting spotted a little bit. People are finding us in our own house. I know. Our address has leaked. Our address has been leaked. I like the privacy there. This could be an interesting one. Joe Felix is an unknown quantity. He starts today. Yeah. I'm going one all. Joe Felix starts. Joe Felix starts today. I'm going to go 2-2 two, two draw. TV cameras just right below us. They've got the same view as us here. One and two. Very cool. The most unique seat you'll ever see. Rest in peace, Viali. We're underway, but look at the view. Like, it is restricted. Even all the owners on the border here, it's still more restricted than anyone else. <laughs> but it feels like being in a bit of history there. It does, it doesn't, doesn't it? It doesn't matter the restricted view for night and it doesn't matter. It's an experience in itself, but yeah. It feels so weird to see Jao Felix in the Premier League. The Chelsea away fans are singing about it. I wonder if this guy ever gets cold. Jao Felix just had a shot. What's just happened? Explain what's just happened. The Fulham fans are singing, who are you, who are you, at Joe Felix. £100 million pound man. Joe Felix trying things, isn't he? Tell you what, first 20 minutes, best player on the pitch. It's William. A... William. Goal. Oh my God. William has scored against Chelsea. Chelsea are a goal down. is the story of the day. William had to score today. Five minutes ago, Chelsea fans were singing William. He saw the light. <laughs> and now he's scored against them. Game on at Craven Cottage. Can't deal with 
Tim Reed. Tim Reed has got that Bolton pedigree in it. Gal Felix in front of our screen. Unbelievable scene. That would be in. Oh! What do you reckon he's thinking about right now? I bet he's thinking, I wish I was out there. How do you even invite him, Fogdan? Yeah, no Serbian, no party. Wow, Fulham 1, Chelsea 0, Cruz from the away end. Good half, but it started off Chelsea with a stronger early on. Fulham came back strong, and that is a fair half time score. I want to see what Scram are dealing with at half time. I prefer a pasty to a pie, but you know, if there's pies in there, that's gone Scram. Yeah, go on, look at these chairs as well. Leather seats. It's got a seat number on it. There's actually seat number. blankets everywhere as well. Take a look at this. Within the cottage, you've got a private room. Look at this. Half time. The players' dressing room is just under here inside the cottage. So downstairs is the players' dressing room. You've got a private room in here as well. You can have a chat with anyone in private and then you come through here and and you've got the half-time pies, the half-time snacks, it's beautiful. Now you know that I prefer a pasty to a pie, but pies have only got steak and ale, coconut and spinach, that is proper decent. What does it taste like, Theo? That tastes like the Nine out of ten. Perfect wow. half-time snacks. I've missed the equaliser. I've missed the equaliser. Oh no. The second half has literally just started. I don't often miss goals when I go to the toilet, but... Listen, I was just enjoying it in my new house. <laughs> you have not missed anything, Theo. No, it was bundled over. It was one of those where the referee gets his watch out and it's given. Got that. Yellow or red? Joe Felix could be in trouble here. What's the referee? What colours are going to be? Red. Joe Felix, on his Premier League debut, gets a red card. That is the story. He looked so good in the first half. I tell you what, a class above. Just one bad challenge, you're off. What does Mitrovic think about it? I think we're going to go and win this now. There's one one. They've got to press forward. They've been the better team at times. They've got to have that confidence. There it is! Mitrovic is first in line. And Carlos Vinicius is second. And he may have just got the all-important goal to win Fulham. The Derby Day match that has it built. That is brilliant. What a great goal. Great cross, great header. Mitrovic's competitor, former striker position. He's still celebrating and loving it because he loves Fulham. Chelsea are muddied. Jan Felix red card. Graham Potter bringing Chelsea one of the worst runs in their history. I don't know where they go from here. I don't know where they go from here. This is an incredible game. Remember, dude, this is a proper naught in London derby. Williams coming off for Fulham and look who's clapping. Chelsea fans are clapping a full-in substitute. That is nice to see, actually. It's yeah. Nice touch. Yeah, because they, even though they're losing, they still respect what William did for their club. We're into the 90th minute and the referee has ordered six minutes. I didn't really see six minutes. That's going back to the World Cup, isn't it? He absolutely loves it. He loves it. It's great to see when players are out the squad. Unbelievable. That is a derby game. It all hinged on that sending off. What a brilliant second off. What a brilliant game. Fulham fans are over the moon. They finally done it. Great to be here. Look what it Chukka maker. Downstairs is where the dressing room is. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what Graham Potter's going to say to him. Here we go. Some more of the Chelsea boys. Here, I know. In your I new house. People Some... think we bought the club and not just the house. Big up to Dennis. Um, he knows who he is. I saw him at the game against Southampton while I was here. I didn't make a video on it. But that's the reason we are here today with Dog Dad, so I, I can't thank him enough. European days, TV revenues, they're on the up. And with the revenues as well, especially with the investment, they've got a hotel coming on this side. Dog Dad, what an experience. He's loved it. Time for a drink. What a game, time for a drink. Look, Theo, you, you can't tell me you're bigger than Tossin. Yeah, come on, get down. Same level now. What a performance today. Thank you, man. Mate, how was it built? Great win, man. Yeah, great win. I think it's been 16 years since Fulham have beaten Chelsea, so that's another big step in this Iconic. I think Fulham are making that step up. Everyone at the start of the season, I think I predicted you to be around like just survival. Now you're looking for European spots, though. 
Yeah, I've got to say, you've got a channel, man. Yes, I do. You did a video with Ellis as well, which was unreal. Yeah. We're going to have to get you on at some point. Maybe Definitely. comment below what video you'd like to see me and Tossin do. Maybe pro football challenge. Like, yeah, let's we, do it. We could do like a dual thing. I could do like 50 take ons against you, see how we go. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're going to get that. smashed. Yeah. Oh, you're pretty about last week, didn't you? I did. I, I told him. I asked him for tips. Did I ask him for tips? Mate, we'll do that on both channels. Yep. Your channel's name is Tossin and Arroyo, right? Tossin and Arroyo, yeah. So subscribe, bro. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Next time we see you, it's on the pitch. On. Yeah, oh, I'm going to be on the pitch, bro. I'm getting the Prem contract. <laughs> <laughs> see you a bit. Bye-bye.